guys welcome to my channel daily say with abby thank you for clicking this to see what this video will be about and this look i would probably describe as like a glamorous look like a college party going out turn up type of look so if you guys enjoy it and if you learn something new today please like and if you're not subscribed subscribe and comment i'll take criticism very well so if you think there's something that i haven't done well whatever 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 just comment okay okay guys so right here i just did my eyebrows off camera but this is my face primed and everything and ready for my foundation so i'm going to use the green color to cover um a couple of my spots on my face that i don't want to show in my makeup and I'm using the green because the green is more opaque color it won't blend in with my foundation my foundation would just go over it and then later on I'm gonna use the purple as I am right now to cover my eyes I don't want to use the green around my eyes because I don't want to be too, I don't want it to be too harsh so I feel like the purple it covers enough but it's not harsh So right here I'm going to put the setting powder all over my eyelid, under my eyes, and my tear duct everywhere so the eyeshadow doesn't crease at all. So I'm going to use this brown color for the base shadow for my whole look. I mostly use this brown color for every single eyeshadow um, look that I do because brown is just a really good base. So I'm going to put it all over my lid and make sure it's blended out. It's not too harsh because I don't want to see the brown. But I'm going to use this um, brown, orangish, peachish color <laughs> to basically give my eyes some color and not just a boring brown color because I'm going for a copper, orangey type of look. Now this lighter orange from the Renaissance palette is to kind of tone down the color that I added from the Morphe palette and kind of set the base for the colors I will be using down on my lid.
So using a flat brush to put the concealer on your lid is really helpful. You could use a concealer that you use under your eyes when you're contouring and highlighting. So we're just going to take our time and just uh, dab it onto your lid. Um, depending on the brush that you're using and how precise it is, you could swipe it a little bit, you know, like a windshield motion. But this brush, I'm going to be dabbing it on because I want to make sure there's a lot of concealer because I'll be using um, two different eyeshadows for this look. So I'm going to need a lot of concealer to keep it on. I'm going to keep building up the shape of this concealer because I want my color to show when I open my eyes. Like, it's really, it's really thicker than it was before because I really want that color to pop and show. First, I'm going to use the color Honey Pot on my lid. I'm going to use it all over the concealer because that's a really, 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 really pretty gold. And I'm just going to pat it on to make sure I get like a very pigmented color. Now I'm going to be using the color um, Hot and Bother. That's like a more copper color on top of the Honey Gold. It gives a really good mix, y'all. Like this is a really pretty color like both of them make a really pretty color so don't matter about you know how precise the concealer is and the shadow is we could clean it up with you know the darker color above I'm going to go in with Unbothered in the palette. This is a darker purple plum color. I'm going to use it for my outer crease. And as you can see, I'm going to be blending out and in, out and in, out and in. And I'm going to kind of try to create a triangle at the end. I don't want it to be too sharp, but I'm going to try to create a triangle. And I just keep adding um, layer and layer of the dark color just to smoke it out because I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it to be as blended as possible so I just keep adding little by little so it doesn't get too crazy. So I created most of my eyeliner off camera, but I wanted you guys to see how I made my wing a little bit longer. Um, this eyeliner is very, very pigmented, so the minute you put it on your skin, it's like, it shows. So I just take my time and add it up and create a little tip at the end. I just take my time, add more and more and more to how thick I want it to be. And we're going to clean it up with the concealer later on, so it doesn't matter if the bottom is not perfect. Right here, I'm going to put uh, a little concealer above my eyeliner so I could add the glitter on top. And I'm just putting a little bit and then um, I'm just going to pat the glitter on top of it so it really pops. Like I'm going to keep patting and patting and patting till I don't see the concealer anymore. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Concealer in Toffee under my eyes to conceal. Um, I've always used this color though. I use this color for concealing my eyebrows and everything else. And I'm also going to use this to clean up my wing. I'm going to take my time and go closer and closer to the bottom of the wing. I don't want to do too much. So I'm just going to take my time and straighten it up and make it sharp. Yes! Ready, 
I use a mini beauty blender to blend my concealer under my eyes and I'm definitely going to blend that line the concealer makes from my eye to my edge so I don't see it. So I contour with a cream first to actually outline how I want my contour to be. So I go in an upward motion and I do it really fast. I try not to press it too much in my skin so it doesn't leave a line. Ladies, using a color under your eyes when you finish your um, lids helps to bring your look together. If you do choose to do this step though, make sure you smoke out that color. This is something that you shouldn't do because a liquid eyeliner is very hard to use under your eyes. It'll go in your eye, it'll make a mess, but I don't know why I don't have like a pencil eyeliner, black eyeliner, but I'll definitely will get one. I mix these two colors together because it gives me that perfect brown that I need. For my contour and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to do that also so I'm gonna go over the contour line I made with the cream contour color that I had earlier and basically I'm just gonna dab it on there a little bit and then I immediately start like fluffing it out and brushing it out so it gives me a natural contour and not just like a straight line in my cheeks Let's get into this Maybelline highlighter. Like, look at that glow. This highlighter is only $10, guys. If you don't have a highlighter, this is this should be your first highlighter if you don't have one. This is a must highlighter. Basically, I'm going to use the fan brush and just fan it upwards on my cheek. And I'm going to make that kind of, you know, that kissy face. Not OD, but like a slight kissy face. And just fan it upwards on my cheek. Look at that. Mm. And I'm going to put some on my chin a little bit because I do want that to glow as well. And then I use the excess highlighter and brush it on my nose. Even though I do add some on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose later on. But yeah.
So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Like my video, comment, and let me know what I need to improve on, how well I did, whatever, whatever. But get into this look. I hope you guys slay as much as I did.